Welcome to my complete beginner's guide to LEGO Animation. So to start, you're going to need Mecha Face, Mecha Bricks Advanced or Light, depending on your budget, and the Epic Fig Rig. Links to all these in the description below. Once you buy them, to install them, you want to go to Edit, Preferences, click Install, and find where they were downloaded to. Then search them up here and click the little white box. Then lastly, delete everything in the scene. All the models I use are from Mechabricks. Links in the description. When you find a model you like, you click Editor, File, then change this to Blender Add-on and click Export. The model I'm going to be using today is my custom sig fig. To import your model into Blender, you click File, Import, Mechabricks. Then find where you downloaded your model to. Once you have your model imported, the first thing you need to do is delete the empties. Then select all the main body parts and click Rig Selected Minifigure on the Epic Fig Rig. Now we're going to parent the hair to the head and hoodie to the body. We can do this by holding Shift, clicking both parts, and then Control P. Now our figure is rigged. You can add Mecha Face now, but I add it later as it makes my FPS drop. So to set up Blender, just change what I change. For FPS, I suggest animating at 24. If you're using Nuke, which I am, you want to change it to OpenEXR Multilayer and change the codex to DWA Lossy. Then you want to find a location you can put your animation. Create a new file for the frames and click accept. Also, if you're using a GPU, go to performance and change your tile size to 256. So to start animating your figure, you want to select the rig and go into pose mode. I like to set keyframes at the beginning. To set a keyframe, you click I, then location and rotation. So I animate on twos, which means I move the figure every other frame. If someone is animating on ones, then it means they move every single frame. To change the interpolation to constant, click T on the timeline and click constant. When animating, everything should be on constants except the green one at the bottom, which is the master bone. You can change the intervals at which you animate to make things seem slower or faster. For lighting, you want to go into the viewport, which is this circle on the top right. Then click Scene Lights and Scene World. To add a light, you click Shift A. I'm going to be using an area light to light the back rooms of this model. You can scale the lights by pressing S. Once I have the lights where I want them, I'm going to adjust the watts. Mechabricks models are pretty big, so you have to use big numbers. Then I'm just going to copy one of the lights 
make it bigger and dim it slightly for the main room. Then when you're done, go ahead and do a test render. This one is pretty good, but I think I'm going to add just a couple more slight touches. Smearing is a technique used to show something moving very fast. In the Blender Bricks Discord, there is a file with all of these, but today we're just going to be using one. So we're going to drag it over and color match it to the skin tone. Then place them on the frame we want and line them up. Once that's done, all we need to do is set a keyframe for them. Then move them out of the camera's focus on the frame before and duplicate that keyframe to after the smear frame. Once that's done, you can see how your smears look. For Mecha Face, you want to select the head and click Add Mecha Face to select then parent it by holding shift and clicking the rig and head. Then press control and P. So to access the pose library for MechaFace, you go to the asset library. Make sure you're in pose mode for this step. When you get there, click assign action to the first one. When you do that, it will add a keyframe. Then for the rest, find the frame you want and click apply pose. Select pose bones, then set a keyframe using I. Then you can decide if you want to use constants on your face. When you're done with all that, you're done with Mecha Face. When you're done with your animation, you can change where the animation ends by changing the frame amount at the end. For Nuke, Ctrain has a very good tutorial, which will be in the description, but he forgot to mention this. If you're doing an animation, when you make your new folder for your nuked animation, don't name file. Instead, use four pound signs. Then click render. When importing your video into Premiere Pro or After Effects, Click Image Sequence when you find your files. Then click Modify and Interpret Footage 